Hi, Joseph. Hi, hi, how are you? How are you? Very good, thank you. I'm very well. How are you? Fine, thank you. Where are you? I'm in like a dressing room in Madrid. <laughs> it's a very, uh, it's not very nice, not very glamorous. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you're going to play in Madrid tonight? Yeah, exactly. Actually, like your album, like a, like your like my album. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so how how are you with uh, everything that is going on in in the world right now? In the world, I think it seems like everything's going fine in the world. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. I mean, like, it's quite interesting because we're obviously in. We're in Europe doing a tour and we are obviously in Spain at the moment, but then tomorrow we start heading further east and we're going to be in like Poland in a few days. So I think it will be quite interesting to feel close to everything that's happening. Uh -huh. um, but I mean, we're like, I guess the thing is, is we're, we're really enjoying touring and playing for people. So it's yeah. quite hard to like, it's quite hard to, to stop yourself from feeling kind of happy that you're seeing your fans again um, yeah making them happy exactly but obviously it's everything's quite disturbing you know but hopefully it'll be okay yeah well um let's talk about small world it, um i i heard it uh, yesterday uh, a lot and uh, i noticed that it's less electronic than than your your other albums so why why did you try to make it uh, more acoustic i think it was just something that i felt like after the last album um metronomy forever which is quite electronic i felt like i wanted to do something that was more kind of musical or more like played like more traditional um and I guess like that's something I quite often do I often feel like I react to what I've done before um but yeah I just like I like the idea of making something that was that felt quite natural and, and organic um so yeah that was how that's how it was be how it began yeah mm -hmm. so what was uh, what were your de reference what albums did you hear um during the pandemia what the band um the band big thief i really was enjoying listening to them and mm -hmm. and it kind of reminded me of, of lots of music that i used to listen to when i was younger things like um wilco and like cat power um and like i don't know rem these kind of bands which are quite quite serious bands like <laughs> quite austere Uh -huh. um, and I and I and I quite like the idea of making like a of making an austere metronomy album. I mean, and it's not it's not a, like it's you know it's quite a nice album really. But but I like this idea of of becoming kind of serious and grown up. Mm -hmm. So um, I read in an interview yesterday when I was um, reading about Small World and about you that uh, you said that in a way. Uh, you wanted to forget about reality. Uh, For me, music is something that really, like, it can, you can, people use it to, like, heighten a feeling. So I think if you're feeling, like, you know, sometimes if you're feeling sad or if you're feeling, like, emotional, like, you can, you can use music to sort of really indulge that feeling. Um, but I think also music's really good just like, like a book or something like it can just take your mind uh somewhere else and and i think that like for me when i was when i was listening to the music to music over the past couple of years like i didn't want to listen to music that reminded me of like of bad stuff i wanted it to just make me think of other things and, and so so I, want, i wanted to make music which was yeah which was a way of escaping uh like what was happening really Yeah. Well, I've seen enough. It's one of my favorite songs of the album, you know, the last one. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. And you sound like a crooner. It's like a Jarvis song. I I can I kind of felt it like that. So yeah. and and the piano is really beautiful. Thanks. And um um 
and it's uh, the lyric uh, the lyrics are really simple you know it's like it's, it's uh, i really loved it so tell me how did you did, did you write that song and how did you give birth uh, to that song i was yeah like i think well it's funny that song i was actually like i started off imagining i was gonna write like it i was gonna write the song in french I because I felt like it was this quite a French idea. Yeah, um, yeah. See, Jarvis is really it's it's yeah, well, kind it, of French, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I also <laughs> like the idea of I like I I, I kind of like the idea of um, I don't know of like of, of 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 changing like where I can be like where I can be in the world of like music. You know, I like the idea of changing. Um, like my position and, and feeling like oh well you don't have to be a sort of like indie singer you can you can become something a bit more like croonerish yeah see it's yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and so I think it was my it's my first experiment in 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 that kind of yeah like in in singing in a different kind of way and I do I really like that song and and um And I can imagine doing like, you know, Frank Sinatra cover versions. There'll be all kinds of crooning now. Yeah, I really loved it. It's a, it's a really nice song. So you're in Spain now. What are you going to do next? Oh, you're going to uh, to Polonia and, and then? Well, we have, yeah, we have, I mean, before I think we've got, um, we're going to Switzerland and then Poland and Prague. And then we have France. Like we're just, we're just doing a whole European tour. Um, then we have um, festivals. It's summer, so there's lots of festivals in Europe. Um, and then I hope that at the end of the year we'll be uh, coming to South America. I hope. Um, but yeah, we're just touring. You know, touring, touring, touring. Yeah. So. Uh, how do we say to our children that things are going to be fine <laughs> yeah. when, when a war is, just, is starting, you know? It's like <laughs> so depressing. Uh, yeah, it is depressing, isn't it? But I think like, you know, I think um, it's, it's uh, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, think, I don't know either. I think probably, I think, I think, you know, the little, the little that I understand about politics and um, Russia are that, you know, I think everyone knows that it's in everyone's best interest, like not to have wars. So I think, you know, I think you can be optimistic that, that this will be resolved somehow soon. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just a musician. I'm a musician. I know, player. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so touched by what it's going on. So I'm just, I, I couldn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't not ask you about this, you know? So just, so, yeah. and what That do you, fun. and what do you think about the artists that um, cancel their, their shows in Russia and in, like Nick Cave, uh, Franz Ferdinand and Green Day, that they said that they were not going to play in Russia because of what's going on there. But well, yeah, it's funny because we've, we've got, we've still got two shows in Russia. And I mean, I, I like, I feel like we don't really need to cancel them. I feel like they're just not going to happen. You know what I mean? I, I think, I think quite often with, um, musicians they they make a point of like of saying it's like you know ultimately i guess it's very difficult it would be very difficult to go and play a concert in russia right now you know what i mean so like i don't know how you get paid i don't know how you'd like <laughs> you know what i mean so i think i think um that i think they have to do it they're, they're not necessarily doing it because like you know i guess everyone everyone releases a statement and says they're doing it because they because they don't agree with the Russian government, which of course yeah. we don't, but- um, But what about but the people, yeah. you know? What about the people who's going to see you because they don't, they don't, know how, they don't have anything to do with it, you know? I had, exactly, I had, I had a really, so I, we played in Russia lots of times and I remember having a conversation with the promoter who, who takes us there. And I was talking to him about, you know, about Russia and about the sorts of, 
the the kind of you know like the the powerful Russians and and how Russia is seen outside um, and all that kind of stuff and and the promoter was saying to me like well like you know the kids like the kids in Russia they are not part of that like they are yeah. they have nothing to do with it you know and I remember like people coming to our gigs and coming with like um, you know with like the LGBTQ flag you know like uh, just because I think they felt like it was the kind of place that they could be themselves and, and display like, a, you know, how they feel. And, and so absolutely like, there's no, I think the, the actions of like, of, of, um, of Putin don't at all reflect the young people in Russia. And, um, and that's the saddest thing about like, we'll obviously have to cancel our gigs in Russia. Um, but I feel really bad for our fans there because, because they're being punished like, for something that they don't believe in so i think that's yeah sad me and yeah. ah oh i was going uh, i wanted to ask you about the cover of a uh, small world it's a photograph that my mother took my mom my mom is a photographer and oh really it's her photograph yeah it is beautiful and it's a picture of a place that was near the house where i grew up in it's like a public garden near where i grew up yeah She does it for a hobby or she's a uh, professional photographer? She's a professional. I mean, she's, she's kind of retired now, I guess. But she, yeah, she's done it for her adult life. Yeah, she's a professional. Oh, and she, and she, worked, she, she worked for a med, for medias or for... Like... She, yeah, she's like, she kind of worked for like, she's worked for, she's sort of freelance, but she's had a, had a work that's been used in, yeah, in like newspapers and, and magazines. Yeah. Um, she's very good. You should check her out. Check her out. She's What's her name? Picture. Her name is Kate Mount. Oh, I will, I will check her out. Oh, that's all. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad that I asked you. I will, I will check yeah. her out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Well, have a great time in Madrid. I really envy you. I will, I will love to be there. So have, have, have a great show too. And I, we will waiting for you here. Yeah. We okay. Will be there soon. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, nice to talk to you. You too. Okay. Nice <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.